been great. Um, so I talked about innovation um, in city design and technology. And I think we're getting to a point where uh, federal funding is the same as it was. So we're exploring not only ways of making cities more efficient, um, but we're also experiencing ways to be able to finance them through different public-private partnerships that are used wisely. Um, so I think that's where you're seeing um, different choices in mobility, whether it's private or public. Um, but hopefully as a city, we can operate a holistic transportation system that has very multimodal um, opportunities um, that explore equity and access. And I talked about uh, the opportunities and options that the city is working on. So uh, Elle had some of the innovation and some of the ideas there. And I actually really talked about the, the things that the city has actually built, the infrastructure that we're getting to encourage people to walk more, to bike more, to take public transit more. Because we really think that providing those options to people is going to make, is going to really lead to more people using and taking advantage of those opportunities. It's really like systems like Divi being expanding to serve uh, over oh, nearly 70% of the city and uh, 100 square miles, one of the largest bike share systems uh, by geographic area. It's actually the largest bike share system in North America. Um, and we're providing that as an opportunity to people uh, that they didn't have before. And for folks who can't afford it, we've got, uh, we've got a Divi for Everyone program. So we've got opportunities that people couldn't afford the full price can still have the opportunity who need the transportation most to have the opportunity to actually use the transportation. And then I talked a bit about Vision Zero. So there's there are concerns with active transportation around safety and, and the city is really committed to making Chicago safer for everyone walking, biking and driving their cars so that it's a, it's a more safer, livable city for everyone. And the great thing at City Digital is that we can take what Sean's priorities are at CDOT, the Department of Transportation and say, you know, Vision Zero, how do we handle autonomous vehicles? Hopefully we can be that kind of R&D sandbox space for the city where um, we add that capacity to those questions for them. And then we take the data and the, the data crunching that UI Labs does, and we can actually then use that data to figure out how to do things better. Thank you. Thanks.